Hey, Math 30-2. Today we're going to look at the laws of logarithms. All right. So investigating the product law. A, let's evaluate the following. Log of 16 base 2, add the log of 8 base 2. So if you go to your calculator and figure out the log of 16 base 2, you can go common log 16 divided by common log 2. You'll find out that equals 4. And log of 8 base 2, common log 8 divided by common log 2, that equals 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. Now, if you look at the log of 16 times 8, base 2, well, you could write that as the log of 16 times 8 is 128, base 2. If you go to your calculator and say common log 128 divided by common log 2, that's also 7. Try part B. Log 27, base 3. If you uh, do that in your calculator, common log 27 divided by common log 3 is 3. And log of 3, base 3 is 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. And if you go log of 27 times 3 base 3, write that as a single logarithm. 27 times 3 is 81. Base of 3, you do that on your calculator. Common log 81 divided by common log 3, you also get 4. So comment on the answers from A and B. Well, in A, parts 1 and 2, they have the same answer. B, parts 1 and 2, they've got the same answer. So answers are the same. Let's investigate the quotient law. We'll evaluate the following. Well, we saw from up above the log of 16 base 2 was 4. And the log of 8 base 2 is 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. If we rewrite part 2 here, the log of 16 divided by 8 is 2. The log of 2 base 2 is also 1. Part B. Log of 27 base 3, we said was 3, and the log of 3 base 3 is 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2. And if I rewrite this as a single logarithm, 27 divided by 3 is 9. The log of 9 base 3, if you do that, common log 9 divided by common log 3 is 2. So we can comment on the answers from A and B, and we notice that they've got the same value. All right. So the product and the quotient laws of logarithms. The log of m times n base a will equal log m base a plus log n base a. That's our product law. And the log of m divided by n base a will give us log m base a minus log n base a. That's our quotient law. And it works both directions across that equal sign. So evaluate the following using the product law or the quotient law. Got the log of 12 base 2, subtract the log of 3 base 2. I can write that as a single logarithm. So that's the log of 12 divided by 3, all base 2. So I can write that as the log of 4 base 2. And if you go to your calculators and go log 4 divided by log 2, that's a value of 2. Part B. Log of 9 base 6, add the log of 8 base 6, subtract the log of 2 base 6. Well, they're all logs of base 6. So if I'm adding, I can write it as a single logarithm by multiplying. 9 times 8, if I'm subtracting, I can divide the argument. So log of 9 times 8 divided by 2 base 6, well, that'll give me the log of 9 times 8, 72 divided by 2 is 36 Oop, base 6 the log of 36 base 6. And if you do that on your calculator, that's going to be the log of 36 divided by the log of 6. That's a value of 2. Use the laws of logarithms to write this expression as a single logarithm. All right. So if I put this in brackets and do that one first, I've got the log base x of 10 times 75, or 750, minus, and do this set of brackets, log base x of 2 times 3, which is 6. And now I'm, divide, I'm subtracting two logarithms, so I can write that as a single log using division. 750 divided by 6. So the log of 750 divided by 6 base x 
which in simplest terms is a log of 125 base x. So I've written that as a single logarithm. Now evaluate it if I find out that x has a value of 5. So the log of 125 base 5 can be found on our calculator by saying common log 125. If you want to write that out, common log of 125 divided by the common log of 5. And that'll give us 3. Example 3. This expression is equivalent to which of the four multiple choice below. So let's work with this one. Here I'm adding two logs. Here I'm subtracting a log. They're all of the same base. So I can write these all as log base 2. Log base 2 of, if I'm adding, I multiply x times 2x. If I'm subtracting, I divide the argument x squared. So I've got the log of base 2. And I'm taking x times 2x, which is 2x squared, divided by 1x squared. So we know that an x squared divided by an x squared is 1. So what I've really got is the log of 2 base 2. We know the log of 2 base 2 has a value of 1. Example 4. Determine the value of 3 log p base 2 minus... Uh, ...3 log q base 2. Well, the first thing I would do with this question, something you guys learned in grade 10, is factor out a common factor of 3. So if I divide 3 log p base 2 by 3, I get the log of p base 2. And if I divide negative 3 log q base 2 by 3, I get negative log q base 2. And now I can rewrite that expression as a single logarithm inside the brackets. So it's 3 times the log base 2 of, and if I'm dividing, I, sorry, if I'm subtracting, I divide my arguments. So 3 times the log of p over q base 2. Now we're told p over q has a value of 8. So I can rewrite p over q as 8. So the log of 8 base 2. And if you simplify that, we know that the log of 8 base 2 has a value of 3, so I've got 3 times 3. So this expression equals 9. All right. Investigating the power law. Investigate the power law by writing the 2 times the log of x as the log of x plus log x. Well, that's true. If I've got 2 log x's, that's the same as saying log x plus log x. I've got 2 of those. So use that to show that this expression is the same as log x squared. So we just said that 2 log x is the same as saying log x plus log x. And that's supposed to equal log x squared. And my product law just told us that I could write those both as log, uh, as a single log by multiplying the arguments x times x is x squared. So they're the same thing. So prove that 3 log a base 2 equals the log of a cubed base 2. We're well, using the same idea that 2 log x is log x plus log x. 3 log a base 2 could be written as log a base 2, add log a base 2, add log a base 2. And that's supposed to equal log of a cubed base 2. And if I write it like that, I can rewrite the whole left side of this expression as a single logarithm of base 2 by multiplying the arguments a times a times a we know is a cubed. So we've proven that they're the same thing. So write an equivalent expression to a log c base b. That would be the same as saying the log of c to the exponent a base b. All right. That is our power law. So the log of m to the exponent n base a can be written as n times the log of m base a. That's our power law. Write the following in terms of n log x. So the log of x to the exponent 10 is the same as saying 10 log x. So we bring the exponent down front and multiply it by the logarithm. 
the log of radical x, well, I would rewrite that as the log of x to the exponent 1 half. Square root means exponent 1 half, and now I can take the exponent out in front and multiply it to the logarithm 1 half of log x. Write the following in the form of log of x to the exponent n. Well, 5 log x is the same as the log of x to the exponent 5. And negative one-third log x is the same as saying log of x to the exponent negative one-third. Now, if you want to write that as a radical, you can. The log of 1 over the cube root of x. And that would be fine, too. Example 7. Write the following in the form n log x base b and then evaluate. So I take the 2 out front and rewrite that as the log of 8 base 2. And I can now evaluate the log of 8 base 2. If you do that in your calculator, log 8 divided by log 2, you get 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Part B. I've got 6 times the log of 7 cubed base 49. So I bring my 3 out front and write this as the log of 7 base 49. So 6 times 3 is 18 times the log of 7 base 49. And I can do the log of 7 base 49 on my calculator. Log 7 divided by log 49 gives me 1 half. So half of 18, this value is 9. Part C. So I've got 6 times the log of the cube root of 7 means 7 to the exponent 1 third, all to the base 49. So I'm bringing that exponent one third out front, and I've got the log of seven base 49. So six times one third is two, and the log of seven base 49 is a half. So two times a half is one. And finally, the log of six exponent n base six, well, I bring my n out front, and I've got the log of six base six. Well, the log of six base six is one. So this value is n. All right. Put a big star beside that one. That's an important one to know. All right. Example 8. Use the power law of logarithms to prove that the log of 16 to the exponent x base 4 is the same as 2x. So working on the left side, I bring my exponent x out front, and I've got the log of 16 base 4. That's supposed to equal 2x. I could now rewrite 16 as a power of base 4. 16 is the same as 4 squared. Then I don't have to use my calculator. I could have went common log 16 divided by common log 4. Or I can rewrite 16 as a power of base 4. And then I can bring that exponent out front. So 2 times x multiplied by the log of 4 base 4 will equal 2x. And we know the log of 4 base 4 is 1. So 2x times 1 equals 2x. That's a true statement. All right. So you guys have your questions. Also numbers 1 through 6. All right. There you go.